All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be working on the third gen Tacoma again. We're gonna do things a little bit different in this one. We're gonna to try to do this in a single take. So what we're working on is the tire pressure sensors. As you know, in the last few videos, we put new wheels and tires on the thing. Well, I did not put the sensors in the tires because I didn't want it to throw lights when I'm aired down when I am wheeling. So what we're gonna be doing is making a little capsule for the pressure sensors. I've seen this online. I've always wanted to try it out. So. We're going to try this method. I believe there's another one where you can uh, change the setting in the tune and it will not throw a light, but I want to try this to see if it'll work. So what we're using is some PVC. We have a cap here. We're going to drill this and then put, the, put one of the sensors in the top here. So we'll be able to air it up. And then the rest of them will go inside here. We have the main body as well as a cap here on the end. So we're going to glue this one in here. We got some cement glue. We'll go ahead and mix this up and hopefully glue this correctly. Whoa, geez, it's falling. Oh boy, we got a mess going on. So, oh, put it in the wrong one. Go ahead and brush that on like such. Get that on both surfaces. Then we'll press this in like that, give it a little twist. There we go. Now we got a mess all over my hands, which is great. Whoops. There we go. There's that. Now while that's setting up, we can go ahead and drill the hole in the top here. If you need, uh, most of these are 4.53 in diameter. Um, you can also measure it and get the right size, but I have a 2964 drill bit. And then you can take your deburr tool here, or deburr tool, and deburr the edges. Like such. And then we'll take one of these. I put a steel valve cap on it because I do not have the polar tool. So we will hopefully be able to pull this thing through. The hole might be a smidge small. We might have to drill that a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can't get this. All right, and then for these little guys, what we're gonna do is take off the actual valve stem itself. That way we can have just the plastic pieces in there. They just have a little screw on the end that holds them on here. Take that off. And then now you have the actual sensor itself. And then we will end up putting the sensor in there and then threading the cap on. God, it won't fit that way. Stuff that in there, lock such. I'll go ahead and put some tape on here, see if we can't seal it a little bit better. That didn't stick very well. There we go. As you can see over here on the gauge, it is pressur pressurized, around 35 PSI right there. I don't hear any air leaks. There 
it's like a pressurized bomb now. All right, so there we have it. It is officially done. We got the sensors in there. It is pressurized. It does not seem like it's leaking. I'm going to go set this in the Tacoma and see if it works. I will let you guys know down the road if it does not work, but I think it should do uh, just fine. It doesn't rattle. It'll be good to go. Anyways, that is going to be it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.